Today we're opening the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh set, Rage of the Abyss, and there's a new Blue Eyes card inside. No, it's not Magia. What's up everybody, we are back with another brand new Yu-Gi-Oh opening. The new set has dropped, Rage of the Abyss. If you guys have not pre-ordered it yet, make sure you use Sassy Auto's link down below, get 5% off using my discount code, which is in the description. So don't miss out doing that because inside this set, there's a brand new blue eyes card, which I'm really excited about. There's also a $137 secret rare right now. Yeah, and almost a $500 QCR. So there's some big potential in this set. And as you can hear, I am still a little bit under the weather for the last like two weeks. So I'm grinding through it, but I am excited for this set. I want to pull the heart of the blue eyes. The artwork is amazing. I saw it first on Twitter and I was like, dude, this thing looks sick. And I think it's not that expensive. You know, it's one of the old school cards. It'll be blue eyes, so it'll probably not be horrible, maybe like 50 bucks, but that's the card I want. Who knows how many packs we're gonna have to open for it. Okay, let's just open this thing up. Let's go. The giveaway for this video is one booster box of this brand new set. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below. What do you think about Rage of the Abyss? Let's get to the opening. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is a live streaming platform where you can buy and sell basically anything. I've sold over 3,000 items on the platform over the last few years, and it's been really amazing. Whatnot is looking for new sellers, and for the first seven days of selling, they'll match up to $150 in sales. So basically, if you sell something for 10, they'll give you another 10 just for selling it and being on Whatnot. So if you're already a seller and you're not on Whatnot, you guys can use my link down below and you guys can join the platform. Plus, if you've never been on the platform, you get $15 free credit on the first thing that you buy. So maybe if you buy Buy something for your $15, that's free because you have my, my link. Then you sell it for 15, you get an extra 15 because you sold it. That's double money plus free 15. You basically made out like a bandit on that. And I do not want you guys to miss my stream, which is coming up this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. We are opening the brand new set, Rage of the Abyss, which contains a pretty awesome new Blue Eyes card. This new Heart of the Blue Eyes card comes in quarter century secret rare. And though we've been, you know, it's been a battle with Magia, this card is gonna be different, I promise. So make sure you don't miss the stream this Thursday, 5 p.m. Central. We're gonna have the Heart of the Blue Eyes card. We're gonna have a lot of vintage items available on the buy-in now. It's gonna be an amazing opening and hopefully pull that QCR right off the bat so we don't have to worry about it and open 3,300 packs like you do with Meiji. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. There are a lot of great cards inside. I'm excited to see what they are. Shout out to Frontline Games, my local store, for allowing me to open up these boxes. They got them to me so I could open them up. These are their cards. So if you want any of these cards, Sorry, they're at Frontline Games. You're going to have to come to Clarksville, Tennessee, the Frontline Games the local store. They will have them. Unless they sell them, of course. So, you know, can't really control if they sell them or not. Okay, let's see what we can open. Uh, we are going to have a few Rage of the Abyss openings. Uh, namely, this one. Tomorrow we'll have, of course, a video. There's going to be a Whatnot stream tomorrow night that will have some packs for sale. So, if you do want to pick up some packs from me, they will, I will be live on Whatnot. So, it's going to be very exciting. Uh, go check that out, of course. Uh, the Whatnot streams are always super fun. Then Friday, we're going to be doing probably a case opening, I, I think. I'm not going to fully commit to the case opening yet. Uh, we'll see. We're probably going to do a case opening. And then Saturday, we're going to do... I could change this up to do the live stream Friday. We'll see. But it's probably going to be Saturday is probably the schedule. So keep an eye out. YouTube will be Friday or Saturday. We'll be opening a bunch of these packs, searching for these Heart of the Blue Eyes. I always want to call it Spirit of the Blue Eyes, but it's actually Heart of the Blue Eyes. Okay, let's go. Let's open this up. I'm excited for the brand new set. And yes, I did look up the best card. So because whenever I do this blind, I pull the best card. And everybody's like, oh, you pulled the best card. You didn't go crazy. Oh, so I look up the best card so you guys will be happy that i know the, the card or whatever but these are backwards normally when you have it right side up and you turn the crimp is right there but now it's pointing this way this is weird i don't like this so now it needs to be upside down what in the world they definitely changed that all right don't like this set off to a bad start Okay, let's see what is inside. Are we going to do two from the... Wait, no. What is it? It's, oh, it's a core set. It's a four from the back. Okay, brand new set. Let's see what we can get. Zoa, six strike, max metal morph. Metal morph got a uh, retrain. Goblin biker. We got to keep an eye out for retrains because that's what they love to do in the core sets. Okay, legendary lord, six samurai, and Nishi. Very cool. So... Legendary Six Samurai Retrain, off to a cool start. I also like dinosaurs, so this is cool. This card is in your hand or graveyard. You can reveal one level nine monster hand, except this card, wait, oh, this is a level nine with 900 attack. So it's summon both this card and the revealed monster defense position. So it's summon from the extract for the rest of the turn, except rank nine or higher exceeds monsters. So basically that doesn't matter because you're gonna rank nine anyway. That's like the point of this card. You can only use the effect uh, once per turn, a rank nine that has this card's material gains, this effect it gains 900 attack. 
Okay, so it just gets a little bigger. That's interesting. I don't know if that's any good or not. Dino people, let me know. I'm probably actually going to be playing a little. I hate how this crimp is in a different spot. This is going to make it a lot harder to open packs. But Dino people, let me know down below. Uh, is that any good? I'm probably going to be doing a little uh, Master Duel, like meta, like current meta, on Wednesday and Friday this week. Well, today. So I should probably be getting into it right now. Probably going to try to pull the Meiji on Master Duel too. So if you guys want to come out to the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash ruxin34 at 3 p.m. today, we're probably going to be doing that. So, that oh, Purin got a retrain. <laughs> okay, we have Puppet Shark, Token Support, Balmonica, Kurtfire King Doom Burst. Wow, that is... That is a long name. That seems kind of crazy. Man, the this is bad. The allergies are really bad right now. I hate this. Every time I just, I go like this and there's nothing there. I might have to put the packs upside down just so I grab them the right way or I'm gonna have to get used to flipping them every time. This is off to a bad start. I do not like that they did this. They did backwards cards or backwards packs. Battle Wasp. There's so much to pull. Anarchist, we have Primate Roar. Okay, it's super rare. Okay, we are pulled... All super rare so far. Okay, so I got to do this. All right, all right. We're not messing around with that anymore. We're going straight in. Let's see. We have Mimi Ghoul Fairy. So I think Mimi Ghoul got a little bit more uh, support in here. There's a B retrain, the B, whatever the B card's called. Magi Mergy, not Magia, right? Okay, good. Thank goodness. All right, flip the pack over. Kind of a pain. Man, these packs are super tight too. Like they're, man, the crimps are locked in on there. I kind of hate this so far. Let's see about the cards, though. Oh, Mermail King, Neptibus, so a Mermail retrain. Okay, wait. When was the last time we had Mermail support? Probably in Rage of the... Or in um, Duels from the Deep, maybe? I don't remember any Mermail, though, actually, but I'm sure there was. It was, you know, <laughs> had to be. All right, let's keep it going. Upside down pack, very annoying. Man, this is going to make opening a lot of packs a lot harder. Thankfully, the Magia is in a different set. All right, let's see what else we can get. Mimigul Slimes, a little flubber action, okay. Momenta Clan, Akiron, Akiron. We have Wandering Titan of the Tartarus and Union Pilot. Uh, there are secrets in here somewhere, and potentially QCRs, so eventually that'll happen. Oh, I forgot the giveaway. We gotta mention the giveaway. All right, we'll put that at the beginning. Oh, Mimigul Charm. Wait, this might be good. Okay, not seeing it. By the way, Heart of the Blue Eyes is a secret rare in here. It's like 12 bucks right now. Uh, and keep in mind, these are pre-release prices, so everything will be higher than when it's Friday. It's going to go down on Friday, because Friday, that's when everybody can sell, not just like, you know, uh, game stores and stuff. So as soon as we get to Friday, you, every normal Joe like you and I, will be able to put it on TCG Player. Prices will go down for the most part. Let's keep it going. We got a secret rare. Let's see what else we can get. Battle Wasp and a Metal Illusionist, a Spellcaster. Is this like an illusionist kind of metal morph trap from your deck? Then if max metal morph is in your graveyard, you draw one card. What? That is crazy. They're adding metal morph support like max metal morph, metal morph, metal illusionist. I mean, kind of dope because the original metal morph from Forbidden Memories is one of the best looking cards like ever. And it's kind of a sick card. Gain attack and then you like double like you get. What do you get? Like all of their attack or something? I can't remember exactly, but it's pretty sick. Chaos Allure Queen. Well, that seems like a Allure Queen as a common. Okay. Mimi Go Armor. Check out that artwork. I just skipped through that. That is sick. That is sick. Supply Soldier. Dude, there's so all of these are retrains. It's crazy. It's crazy. The Purin Purin. Okay. Butterfly Fish and Sangin Furrow. Remember, remember when that card, that Sangin card got banned? Yeah, that was crazy. That's crazy, right? Okay. See what we can get. We have the Poseidon Splash, Profile Ball Balancer, <laughs> Mad Man, the Ultra hu Ultra Human, and Mermail Shadow Squad. I feel like Mermails are not the best cards to be pulling here. Uh, Zoa, Zoa the Fiendish Beast, and he's in the Metal Morph. Yeah, because the Zoa, Metal Zoa, and Metal Morph, all, you know, those are all promos. That is so cool. Okay, I gotta speed this up. I'm taking too long. And one, it's the pack's fault, too. I'm getting enamored by these new cards. And guess what? These are cool, okay? They're cool. They're very cool. The summer school work. Oh, that guy. And the Crima, the Crimson Tears. All right, that seems like it's pretty good. We are looking for the number one card we're looking for. I should probably said this earlier. The $137 card is the Malarkey Fawalmo. Fawalwalls. Fawalos? It's Mulkarmi Fawalos. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna say Malarkey Falamos. That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, because yeah, that's just easier. But oh my goodness, there's some crazy names. So that card is a hundred, one hundred 
and $37 right now, pre-release, so pre-sale. So I'm sure eventually it'll go down, but sometimes those big cards, if like they're the biggest cards in the set, they don't go down for a while. And that definitely, I mean, that could happen. That's an incoming machine. They have a freaking metal. <laughs> Zoa archetype. This is so freaking cool. Somebody's got to play that. Somebody's got to play that. That's really cool. That is really, really cool. I'm sure it's not good, but I mean, they've been they've been implementing a lot of nostalgia archetypes re recently, which is really awesome. Like the uh, the Exodia one, Exodia slash uh, Millennium archetype. Yeah, that was that was exciting. I was like, that's cool. That was in the uh, Forbidden Memories. Wait, Forbidden Memories. No. Infinite Forbidden. Forbidden Memory says the video game. I was like, that's definitely not right. Okay, Servaging Big Jaws. Big Jaws getting a retrain. Man, there's some cool cards in here. I the, They've been crushing it a little bit with the, the core sets. I know like this set is a little bit top heavy in terms of the good cards, but in terms of just fun cards, I feel like they've been doing pretty well. They've been getting some cool stuff in there. Oh, the Dominus Impulse. This is good. This was like 50 bucks, I think. 42. 42, so this is a really great card. By the time it comes out, who knows? Maybe it'll be a $20 card, but you never really know. Maybe that'll be like, and you, you don't know, like until people start really playing it in the meta and then, you know, they win a YCS with it, it could change. You know, it could go up, it could go down. If it does terrible with the YCS, you know, stuff like that. Goblin Biker's gone wild with the more Goblin Biker cards. Okay. Maybe go Fork Newbie and Heavy Cavalry of the Indestructible Insects. <gasps> insect Fusion. Level five or higher insect plus one sec insect monster cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If all phase of monsters you control are insect monsters, quick effect, you can target two monsters on the field, including an insect monster you control, banish them. You can only use this effect if heavy cavalry of the indestructible insects once per turn. So you have to you have to banish one of your own insects, but you get to banish something else. So interesting. Insect cards. I like insects, you know, obviously. The Pecanio Moth, speaking of, the Pecanio Moth mat is only available till the end of the month. October ends, no more Pecanio Moth mat. You won't be able to get it anymore. So don't miss out. La Virtue Dragon. Sounds like a LeBron, like a LeBron meme. You know, like everything's la something, like the old, you know, uh, la goat, um, you know, the bad and the good ones, uh, la choke, you know, whatever. La Virtue. That'd be like if he was like, you know, that's some charity or something. It'd be like La Virtue or something. I don't know. That's what that reminds me of. Okay, Azamina Moa Regina. Okay, Azamina. Azamina, pretty decent, right? Not totally sure on that one. I don't really see any Azamina stuff. But it might all be lower end. It might all be like ultra rares and stuff. Did we? Yeah, not totally sure about that. But, you know, look, I looked up the cards for you guys. So you guys won't be mad at me. OK, I'm not allowed to do it blind anymore, apparently, because, you know, what? <laughs> not allowed. OK, uh, release brainwashing. It's like remove brainwashing. Very cool. Uh, time engine and Sangen. Sangen summoning one of the one of the scariest cards. That's why we had to put it on the ban list. OK, uh, Mant Man, the ultra human. Anarchist, Guilt of the Sinful Spoils, and Succumbing, Sorg, Morganite. The Morganite card before, when it was a super, was really expensive. I don't know if that one's going to be like an expensive super or not, but I remember time tearing Morganite was expensive. Okay, what else are we going to get? More secret rares. Azamina, Ila, Sylvia. It seems like so far those are low rarity. That is a creepy artwork. Creepy artwork, I'm not going to lie. Very creepy. No malarkey for us so far, but it would be nice. Firestorm over Atlantis. Wandering Titan of Tartarus. Butterfly fish. Okay. How many secrets did we pull? Two or three? So it could be a QCR too, because there's a $500 QCR, that malarkey guy. Uh, the Hallowed Azamina Halloween coming up. Very scary. Purin Purin. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 300K. We're at like 254 already. So like, I gotta start planning for 300 because hopefully you guys enjoy the 250. It feels like you guys did. I thought it, I thought it was a pretty big success, you know, doing all those different videos. It seemed like you guys liked kind of the you know return of auction series. Obviously, the every pack opening, uh, the, the, just the the more random one. You know, the one where we opened just 50 random packs. That was kind of just like an extra cool video. It turned out to be like the best poll of the whole time. So it all kind of worked out to be like really really good. The OCG was the like least performing of all of them. I figured that would be the case, but the people who like OCG really like it, and I really like it. So I think that that was fine for it to be a little bit on the uh, lower end of the special. Look at this, uh, Hezervarg, the Mechanical Dawn, very cool. And it, it still was, you know, still people look sound like they liked it. There, I, got, I got a few messages regarding uh, regarding that, so I do want to open some Volume 1 at some point. So if you have Volume 1, you want to, oh, Fire King, Courtier. Okanix. I don't remember seeing this on the prize guide, so that's probably not a great pull. <laughs> and Fire King, not a great archetype. Still a few cards left. Maybe we can get something big. 
Like malarkey. Maybe we'll pull it later. We have primate roar. Hopefully we'll pull it at some point, right? I mean, we have we have cases coming, so we should do fine. We should do fine. Come on. We have Mimi Ghoul. We have Goblin Bikers Gone Wild. Virtue Stream and Battle Wasp. What did that say? Rapier. Okay. Got a little scared there. I was like, okay, Konami, what are we doing here? <laughs> what is that? Pretty crazy. Okay. Okay. Just Battle Wasp. Okay. No, nothing Nothing to freak out about. All right. Premise. Release Brainwashing and Moment Land. Down to a few packs left. A few packs left of the new set. I'm very excited. I'm excited for the Whatnot Stream Noir Rescue Hedgehog. Is that a new rescue card? That's pretty cool. New rescue card to go with rescue rabbit, rescue uh, hamster, right? Isn't there a hamster? And then rescue uh, rescue cat, obviously, the first one. Duh. Okay. Rabbit's kind of the most famous one, to be honest, though. I feel like, at least. But as I was saying, tomorrow, what not? Very excited. We have a uh, Abyss, the Atlantean Dragonlord. Man, it's really given us a lot of, like, water stuff. I, Rage of the Abyss makes sense, but... What not tomorrow? Do not miss it. 5 p.m. Central. Get $15 free credit, guys, if you haven't already. I'm going to have a bunch of cool stuff available over there that you guys can pick up. You'll also be able to pick up, you know, some of the new packs. It's going to be very fun. Hopefully you will see some big pulls like the big Seeker Rare, big QCR, stuff like that. I'm super excited. I think this set's actually going to be pretty, you know, exciting because there's a lot of like high end. I don't know how like fully balanced it'll be. Maybe it will be pretty decent. I mean, there are a few money cards in here, at least right now. So we'll see if they hold up. As Amina, again, I feel like I'm pulling a lot of As Amina. Not too many uh, malarkeys over here. Zero, actually. But yeah, it seems like a decent set. Should be really fun the next few days doing uh, streams and stuff like that. There's a LeBron dragon. So hopefully you guys are excited as well. And don't forget, if you want to if you want to grab some now, Sassy Auto has them down below. 5% off using my code. Primate Drill Beam. So we got a lot going on. A lot of excitement for the new set. Always love a good new set. Keeping those new products rolling in. I love it. Good job, Konami. Bringing out new sets constantly, consistently. They don't do everything right, but I, I do like that they are bringing out some cool new sets recently, especially with how it was, you know, because before it was like, you remember we made like, you know, all these sets suck, you know, oh, Metal Zoa X, that's really cool. Uh, but it was like all the sets sucked, like in, what was that, like last year at some point? They were all super cheap. It feels like they're doing a little better. I mean, not all the sets are great. Obviously, the Mega Tens were a little bit disappointing, but it feels like they are doing a little bit better in that regard. So that's exciting. That is exciting. And hopefully that keeps, you know, moving in the right direction. We keep getting great sets. And, uh, you know, the reprint thing, they are still reprinting a lot of stuff, and that's going to keep happening. I don't think that's going to change, unfortunately. Drake Shark, that's pretty cool. But I am excited for this set, and it seems like it's a good one. Whenever there's a good set, it feels like, you know, you're like, oh, you know what? This isn't too bad. And there's a bad set. You're like, oh, man, this is bad, you know? Okay, uh, Battle Wasp, Butterfly Fish, just six packs left until we pull the big card. The Malarkey. Will it happen? Incoming Machine. Union Pilot. Five left. Can we get it? I think, have we pulled three or four Secret Rares? I'm not totally sure yet. But I guess we'll find out. If we, only get, if we don't get another one, then we've only pulled, we've already pulled four. All right, Max Metal, 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 Metal Morph. There we go, I can't say it. Metal, not Metal Foes. You want to say Metal Foes. So I guess that's, Metal Foes is not the same thing. Interesting. Very close. Three packs left. Can we get one more nice card? Drake Shark again, repeat. Two packs left. Will we pull it? Or will we have to wait for tomorrow's video? We have the Mimigool Throne, okay. Why do I feel like that's already a card? I guess it's not. Uh, Azamina. And one more pack, last pack magic. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Whatnot stream tomorrow night. Here we go. And the Mechanical Dawn. So I guess we did pull four secret rares. There will be more of this opened up very soon. So I will see you guys in the next videos and streams. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Ernesto Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.